Hi, this is Debbie Podolsky, the director of the Farmingdale Public Library. On behalf of the Library Board of Trustees, I am very happy to announce that the library building will be reopening to the public for normal library hours on Monday, August 24th at 9 a.m. The following slideshow is meant to inform you of all the steps that have been taken to ensure your safety and to indicate the library services that will be available to you when the library building reopens on Monday, August 24th. The library staff returned to the building on June 15th while the library was still closed to the public. We continue to serve the community by offering the following services, access to eBooks and e-magazines, curbside service of library materials, virtual programs, and virtual reference. In-person services will begin on August 24th. The Library Board would like you to know of the many steps that have been taken to ensure your safety. A safety plan was adopted by the Library Board of Trustees on August 11, 2020, following the protocols and guidelines established by the Centers for Disease Control and the New York State Department of Health. All library staff must complete a health screening questionnaire before starting their daily shift. All library staff have been provided with disposable masks, washable masks, a face shield, and vinyl or latex-free gloves. The library staff were trained and tested on the proper use of personal protective equipment. The library has an ongoing order of PPE of gloves and face masks for the staff to wear. Cleaning products and supplies as recommended by the Centers for Disease Control are in stock. We are ready and prepared to ensure a clean and safe environment for when you visit the library. The use of social distancing markers have been put into place and one-way directional arrows have been put in place to indicate traffic flow throughout the building. The library was professionally cleaned and disinfected during the shutdown. The library is following a rigorous cleaning schedule of all areas and high touch surfaces. The library is using cleaning products recommended by the Centers for Disease Control. Although the public restrooms have multiple stalls, the CDC has advised that only one person at a time use the bathroom. The library installed locks on the outer doors to indicate when the bathroom is in use. The library also purchased disposable toilet seat covers. Our bathrooms were already equipped with automatic toilet flushing and no touch faucets. The HVAC air ducts were professionally disinfected and cleaned. MERV 13 filters were installed in our HVAC units. HVAC unit number four, the largest unit servicing the building, was replaced and is brand new. The custodial staff was busy painting many frequently used spaces. The children's program room E was painted and colorful decals were added. The lower level art gallery was painted and room F was painted and chair rails were installed. Glass desk shields were installed at public service desks to protect the public and staff when interacting in person. Obtaining the shields took some time. In June, the New York State Department of Facilities Planning issued a warning that plexiglass or acrylic shields were flammable and did not meet New York State fire codes and cannot be used in public libraries. Polycarbonate was recommended, but soon became scarce as everyone was purchasing it. The cost started to skyrocket. The library obtained quotes to use tempered glass and action glass of Syosset installed the glass desk shields. In order to provide a clean environment, the carpets were shampooed. Where cleaning did not provide a good result, carpets were replaced. New carpets were installed by Class Carpet of Levittown in the reference work area, public access computers, and printer fax copier area. 
In summary, as we reopen the library on August 24th, these are the things that you need to know. There are rules to follow. Face coverings must be worn at all times in the library. There is a 30 minute time limit in the building. Follow direction arrows and practice social distancing and do not visit the library if you are ill or not feeling good. Services available to you include curbside pickup of library materials, in-person browsing of stacks, selection of materials, and checkout, virtual and in-person circulation, reference, local history, and youth services, public computers, public fax machine, and public copiers. As we plan to reopen the building to the public, we hope that you can see the care and attention that we have paid to ensure your safety. We hope to see you at the library when we reopen the building on Monday, August 24th at 9 a.m. See you at the library.